So some of you may recognize this box. It's the Nike uh, Concepts Air Max, and this is the Far Out colorway. And I just really like the packaging on this. I found out about this after I bought the heavy pair. And the way the packaging has been made, it's like this is like the outer box, and it's just uh, like a, a sort of tour van, festival van from the 60s. And then it's just got all this cool detailing, which is very much sort of 60s. And then underneath, you can sort of see it just turns into this kind of acidic <laughs> sort of craziness going on. And it, the Concepts logo is just kind of like randomly sort of wiped out. Probably just to sort of say that you're on drugs. And then I just kind of like the the way they've kind of done the, the collab, really. And like I said, this is the outer box. And then you get sort of more goodies inside. And inside you get the standard sort of Nike Air Concepts box. This, like I said, the far, far out colorway, which is like the, the wild violet one. But you also get the sort of extras that come with it. So you get like this uh, Concepts bandana, which is really nice. But it's got two little vinyls in there as well. And basically you've got a hang tag for the car, which I'm guessing is supposed to be like an air freshener. And then you've also got the sort of stickers that came, came with it as well and this one and then you also have like a rain poncho which is very much a, a festival thing so it's in its packaging and just just it's just a really cool collab it's like one of the best ones i've seen and i just think they've done a, a really really good job on it so i'm really happy that they kind of did that and just made it sort of extra special i think the thing was it was obviously hard to get because at the end of the day it was one that was only available in the concept stores i think so for me i had to pay resale for them but I'm kind of glad I did. I think the prices are kind of still held up or thereabouts. They've taken a slight dip, but I'm not sort of disappointed in in picking these up. And this, and initially these were my sort of third favourite. Reason being is just I'm uh, not too much of a purple kind of kind of guy. So, but with this one, I bought the other two and I liked them so much. I thought maybe this one might grow on me. And then the more that I've had these, this this is also a really really nice pair. I'm not sure if I'd have these over the heavies, but I still just like the fact that they've done all that packaging and stuff with it as well. So what I also like about this pair is the you get like a little guitar pick on these ones, and then this one's another one which is a different colour, and it's just a nice little hang tag, different to sort of getting a standard hang tag. And then just the colourway as well, just all the different designs and the elements on this. This one doesn't have like the sort of stonewash uh, bleaching going on, and it's just a standard sort of denim uh, pattern that's been put on there which uh, I think I, I prefer the ones with the bleach on them, if I'm honest. But uh, the colorway is really cool. And I like the pink, pink laces and then the velvet tongue. And then you've got the sort of pony hair cow print going on around the front of the, the toe area. And then you've got the swooshes as well being this different color and, and pretty much all embroidered. And it's just a really cool sneaker and the flowers on this side as well. And each one has like a, a unique different pattern on there for the swoosh uh, for, for each pair. And then I also like the Nike Air on the back as well, it's just the, the green. So it's just really funky and really cool and not seen anything like these in terms of a, a pack and just really glad to have them really. So here are the details for the Nike Air Max 1 SP Concepts Far Out Special Box. It comes in a wild violet multicolor and cell colorway. And it has a polyurethane cup sole with an airbag in the heel. And it's made up of mesh, denim, canvas and suede materials. The price on this was £210. So with the comfort and sizing, I think these have a medium to firm sole. And in that respect, they, they're much like any other Air Max one. So I don't expect it to be premium comfort. But it will be fine for nearly, nearly all day wear. But because of the hard sole, uh, you know, the airbag isn't that forgiving, it can get sort of quite sort of fatiguing and basically because you sit sort of slightly elevated, you can cause a bit of tension on the forefoot after a, a, a long day of wearing these. And I'd recommend going true to size on these, however I tend to go up half size because I just prefer a bit extra space and I have a wide foot. And I'd say in terms of the traction on the outsole, the sole isn't very good for sort of wet conditions, so this is not one to wear sort of on a really sort of wet, windy day. So with the look and style, this one's got even more of a sort of funky 60s design. The violet on there is very, very loud. And 
I'm guessing the far out sort of concept is meant around, you know, it's just got that funky sort of 60s design that it lends itself well to having sort of bright colours and I think this particular pair has even more of a bright colour being the, the far out version. And it's one to sort of wear spring summertime, not to say that you can wear them any season, but I think it just lends itself well to sort of spring summertime and just gives you that vibe and probably a good one to sort of wear to like festivals and stuff. And it's a good one for casual, and I think you can probably dress these up as well, being sort of smart casual, as long as you're wearing a quite sort of plain outfit. And you can put in any laces because there's so many different colours on the trainer itself that I think anything will work. And with the final thoughts, I think the unique colourway is another one with these. I think out of the two that were released before, the heavy and the mellow, this is probably the one that I liked the least on, on pictures. However, getting them in hand, I still appreciate them as much as the other two pairs. And it's, it's still a unique colorway and, and different and also very loud of this particular pair. And it's using, uh, again, sort of good quality material. So the swoosh having sort of embroidery on there and then you've got kind of different patterns and different types of materials running throughout the sneaker. And with this one, I also appreciate the sort of special packaging because you get the van-like box uh, the outer box and then inside it has all the extras like the stickers, a bandana and the poncho. It's just nice sort of story storytelling really. And this was limited to concept stores only so it's a difficult one to get. And in terms of cons I think the price because the price is slightly higher in this pair because you get the extras but uh, you know I think at the end of the day it should have been priced appropriately. And the comfort is much like any other MX one so I can't really complain too much but you don't expect it to be too comfortable. And again, with the ratings on this one, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 in terms of the look and style. It's just a, another cool uh, concepts uh, collab. And this is kind of completes that trio of uh, the pack. And it's just another cool and different, even though they look all the same, this one also looks different. And the comfort is, uh, I give it a 3, so it's very sort of standard stuff. And the quality, I'm going to give that a five. I think it's a, again just the materials that are used on there, the packaging, the you know everything that you get in there is just awesome. And the pricing, I'll give a foot four for this one because you, you even though you get the extras and you get the box and stuff, it's still priced sort of slightly on the high side. But with regardless of that, I still give it a five out of five. The storytelling, you know, the the limitedness of it, and also it being this sort of concept collab and telling a story, it's just awesome. I think everything about it is just awesome, and it's again another nicer one i think out of the three pairs i'll probably rate the heavy then the mellow then the far out but that keeps changing over time so <laughs> depending on which one i'm wearing 